What is this device? SCB is an independent device that acts as a node in the network architecture. Each privileged access connection goes through this node. SCB is capable of limiting the possibilities of administrators just as a firewall. For example, it can enforce authentication rules or forbid certain protocol services. SCB saves traffic going through the administrative connections to a format that is searchable and replayable. It is capable of saving the traffic of encrypted connections such as the SSH. You can run textual search in graphics protocols such as RDP. What is it good for? I will show you some examples. The manager of the administrators gain real operative authority over his subordinates. Uncontrollable walls are replaced with impenetrable walls with the SCB. It is unnecessary to trust or supervise rule observation since the SCB enforces them. The server and client applications do not have to be modified in order to use SCB. It integrates smoothly into the existing infrastructure. It requires significantly less time and work in forensic situations if tracing back an event that means only watching a video rather than going through hundreds of log files. With SCB, it is also possible to ensure that a supervisor is logged into the system along with the administrator while administering the most critical processes or handling extremely sensitive data. This four eyes authorization is similar to the safety protocol when bank safes can only be uttered with two keys simultaneously. Both the owner and the bank clerk must be present. This level of protection is extremely useful when handling critical systems is either outsourced or done by external professionals.